Hi, this is Derek Freelander and today I wanted to review an MRC decoder, the O slash G scale 1817. I was first introduced to this series of decoders by John Dunn of the Cherry Valley Club. He had shown me a Weaver Crusader steamer uh, that was of the same series of decoder and it seemed to pull okay and it, it sounded alright so I thought I would go ahead and investigate this option um, because I've been installing two decoders and everything so far as far as one decoder for motors and another decoder, decoder for the uh, sound so um, this option here seems to be pretty intriguing as far as just having a one-shot deal um, <clears throat> it has a 5 amp capacity the sounds unfortunately are 8-bit compared to the Soundtrack Tsunami 16-bit decoders uh, which are probably the most realistic ones on the market at this point in time. Um, <clears throat> the price is roughly about $75 or so street price. MSRP I think is about $100. Um, note that the main reason for this review is to show the sounds that are included with the decoder um, because it comes with basically 34 horns, 8 bells, and 4 different prime movers so that this one decoder can actually be used in a multitude of different engines. Um, this decoder also has all the other features that um, DCC users have come to expect as far as you know um, speed steps and speed tables and all other sorts of um, um, programmable CVs. The only problem is, is with the CVs is that Decoder Pro does not have this decoder in it unfortunately so you would have to go through manually and program the CVs which is not too bad but it's just so much easier with JMRI Decoder Pro. Um, a neat features with this decoder that I have not played with before the back EMF load control and this one actually has 28 functions so if you're using a, a throttle that can handle 28 functions such as the Digitrax DT402D um, you get a lot more out of it um, so I'll go ahead and review all the prime movers, the horns, the bells, I'll rev up and down the prime movers and um, I put the decoder inside the engine for more realistic um, hearing because you wouldn't normally hear the decoder in the, in the speaker just on the straight workbench so it's better to have it inside an engine to make it a little bit more realistic. Uh, again the sounds are 8-bit and MRC does have 16-bit decoders or sound decoders but they um, unfortunately haven't packaged them together with a motor uh, decoder. Um, so I'll try to go and subtitle these as I go through and thank you and enjoy.
now with the prime mover sounds off, I'm going to go through a couple of the functions, starting with F3. Last one is function 28. 